the Father is equally God with the Son. The Son is equally God with the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is equally God with the Father. Yeah? They're all equal. Yeah? But I'm saying nowhere in the Bible does it teach this. And if you say, nah, that's not true, then with all due respect, you're going to get rejected by Trinitarians, you're going to get rejected by all the churches. Because any church that believes in Trinity believes in it the way I've said it. I'm saying Jesus Christ never taught this. So why as a Christian would anyone believe this? In fact, in John 17, 3, Jesus Christ himself is saying, for eternal life that they may know the only true God and Jesus Christ whom thou hast sent. So Jesus Christ himself is saying he was sent by the only true God. What's your name, sir? Yeah, it's nice to meet you, sir. Well, 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 you find the force before you go. I, I'm not really understanding the question you're saying. You're more speaking at me than to me. So no, I'm no, no. I've, I've explained the concept. So the first question was, is Jesus Christ God? Yeah. You said he's not well, God, Jesus he was sent Christ by God. Not God. No, obviously not. Yeah. They're two separate entities. So by default, that means um, you don't believe in the Trinity. I do believe in the Trinity. I believe the in Trinity the Trinity contradicts your first statement. Not really. I look, Elaborate. Two, I, I look at them as two separate things. The Trinity is the Trinity and Jesus and God are their own separate entities as well. But the Trinity, Trinity means... is obviously made up of God and the Holy Spirit. And yes, I understand that. But I'm not really best placed to place my position on this right now. But, but it's, it's about what you believe, does yeah. that make sense? And I think very simply put... I believe in, in his... God, I believe yeah. in Jesus, I believe he died to save the world. Mm. Simple as. So, you're differentiating between God and Jesus. Yeah, they're not the same person to me. They're both individuals. Jesus is the son of God. Yeah. yeah. So, what is Trinity? You explain to me what Trinity is, if you don't mind. Mm, I have no answer to that right now, to be honest. Mm. I didn't expect it to be like that. Yeah, yeah, no, no, it's fine. I can yeah. imagine it's a bit overwhelming when you've yeah. got the camera there. But, um, Act like it's not there. It's just yeah. two individuals talking theology. In Islam, yeah. our concept is simple. I am, my friend is waiting on me. Sorry, we are. Oh, is it? We, we did have someone. What did Islam say about Jesus? And but, all right, let me just quickly just, wrap yeah, up yeah. and then I'm going to let you go. So in Islam, is that there's one God, Allah. Allah doesn't have any partners. We don't worship any part Allah alone. Allah created everything. Allah does not need to rest. Allah did not die on the cross. Allah doesn't die. Allah is eternal, self-sustaining, independent. And Allah sent prophets and messengers to be perfect examples to mankind to show us how to live, what to do, what not to do and to them a selected few was given scriptures and then because prophets would die, the message changes, scripture gets corrupted God sent the final messenger with the final scripture and because there's no more messengers to come Allah promised to preserve that scripture which is the Quran and the final message to the Prophet Muhammad and the Prophet Muhammad does not negate, he did not say not to believe in Jesus Christ. In fact, no Muslim is a Muslim until they believe in Jesus Christ, until they believe in Moses and Abraham. In fact, in the Quran, chapter 19. My, I'm taking the assumption you are Muslim, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. I'm a Christian. Yeah. yeah. yeah that's me. What's your Thank name? you so much. Ridwan. Ridwan, that's me. Ephemi. Ephemi, thank you so much for yeah, your time. So really I appreciate it. Can I give nice you. To meet you brother, yeah? And God bless you. Free Palestine. Free all the good work that you're doing here. God will bless you in abundance. And, Thank you, I appreciate you know, that. All bad spirits stay away. I see what you've done with the hoodie. I see it. I you know, see that, yeah? So yeah, I see yeah, it, yeah, I see yeah. it. I know it's a small thing, brother, but you know. Can I, I give you a free best... translation of the Quran? Um, brother, free of charge, free of charge. Brother, I feel like it's, it's, the Quran is a very holy book. Like, I'm, I'm not really Muslim to be carrying a Quran, am I? Would you say? I would say that, look, as long as you have the intention to read it yeah. and you don't is have it any. In English? Yeah, it's in English. Okay. Yeah? yeah ha have, it, have a read through it. If you've got any questions, we're here. You've got the mosque there. You've got East London Mosque. Uh, you can even, if you like, take my Instagram and just holler at me. You can follow me on Instagram. Yeah, you go yeah, on. Yeah, yeah. Give me a, I, have, I have no data on my phone. That's what, yeah. Okay. Similarly, here. Um, let's do this. If you put yours on here, yeah. I'll take them down, bro. Bless us, brother. It's nice to meet you. Yeah. Thank you so much. See you I later. appreciate it. You take care. Share anything on the Free Palestine. We don't like to see children dying. Don't believe everything you see in the media. Make up your own mind, your own opinion. No war, no fighting anywhere. Um, yeah, it's really sad seeing obviously what's going on there. Um, the children dying. Every day on my Twitter timeline, you always see one, one atrocity after the other. And what we're seeing there is war crimes committed by Israel. 
Um, I'm not obviously a massive fan of Hamas based on what I know on them, but no children deserve to die. They're talking millions of people trapped in the West Bank in one particular region. My mum was actually visited Israel three months ago on a religious trip. Israel or Palestine? To, no, she occupied she occupied Israel. Palestine. Yeah, no, she went she went to um, she went to Israel and she was just telling me how it was just crazy there, how like this side is there and it's just it's segregated. It's almost like you think back to like South Africa. Yeah, yeah the know, apartheid. The apartheid. Mm. And, and the ironic thing is, right, that's them on the best behaviour. Mm. Imagine somebody else who's probably a Muslim mm. and how their perception would have been, mm. but they protected. And I've heard similarly where people have gone and you see the, it opens your eyes to the reality. Mm. Does that make sense? When you see it for the first time and you see it with your own eyes, the division. And you think to yourself, that look, how are these people? It's an open air prison. Mm. You know what I mean, what, what was your mum's view after she visited it? She said, obviously, she went for a church trip. So they went, her and her church members, they all went together and went to see Jerusalem the holy sites, and yeah, yeah, the holy sites, isn't it? And she just said how it's just even from the second she got to the airport, they're asking her, are you Christian? Are you Muslim? What are you doing here? Duh, duh, duh. Like, very, the security is very serious. Like, you always have to have your tourist stuff on so they know who you are and yeah just differentiate but, you yeah, between differentiate, yeah. people who are this and that and, yeah. yeah but um it's sad to see what's going on there obviously now obviously there's more of a global awareness now and highlight through obviously marches if you see further down the road you see palestinian flags look i'll show you this in fact actually. i took a picture of this i took a picture of this about 10 minutes ago yeah and look at that ah crazy yeah that's, that's down the road brick lane london yeah i've not much else to say free palestine free gaza free all the children and yeah god bless brother uh, thanks it's so nice much man you. appreciate that yeah yes. all the best Thank all the best see you later have a good evening you too alhamdulillah um may allah grant him he died and then they when there's that level of sincerity when people actually care about the state of the Ummah regardless of what their beliefs are. I sincerely pray that look, Allah grants this gentleman um, Islam because we need to look at, look, we see the problems around the world, we see what's happening in Gaza, we see what's happening in Palestine, but are we actually going back to the Quran and Sunnah for solution? Because Allah created us and Allah told us the solution to all of these problems. And me myself, I've seen um, different people arguing for marches and for this and for that and so on and so forth and when you go to these environments you see that look you have um, socialists there and they're coming with their perspective and their view in regards to how to resolve the issues that's taking place in Palestine as an open-air prison and I've had conversations I've had dialogue with these individuals I've asked them that look when is socialism perfect and they'll say no and then they'll point out other flaws in other systems and I'm like, look, Allah is perfect the religion from Allah, the scripture from Allah is perfect we need to go back to it to find the solutions and at the moment, a lot of Muslims we are... our identity we have become colonized where we think to ourselves, we look to other than Allah for solutions and I pray that Allah unites the Ummah unites us upon the Quran and Sunnah, upon Tawheed gets the Muslim leaders to unite also upon saving the many children and the Palestinian people who are being victimized and who are being bombed. It's terrible the amount of lives that have been lost. When you look at the statistics you'll see that in the 18 month period that Ukraine was um, in war with Russia You've had more children dying, more fatalities, more deaths in these 30 days, in this month where Israel is bombing Gaza and Palestine than the whole 18 month period. And these are the little known facts that we don't talk about, we don't think about it. We look at um, the children who are being uh, um, tried in military courts and you look at the age ranges where people, girls and boys are being imprisoned and the lack of justice that's taking place and right now we have a short-term memory people as a Muslims we need to come together and think to ourselves that look what are we doing are we gonna allow these 
Zionists to dictate to us wrong and right. Fund the Zionists by um, buying Coca-Cola, by um, purchasing all these companies, by going to McDonald's, where we know they are directly supporting the IDF. But yet, we're going to maintain this boycott for a short period of time, and then we're going to go back to our day-to-day -day lives where, no, this has been ongoing for over 75 years, over 100 years. So let's stay on top of it and then help support our brothers and sisters to the best of our abilities. Make dua, wake up in the last part of the night, make dua for them. And on a day-to-day -day basis, keep them in our duas as well. May Allah make it easy for them, unite the Muslim women, unite the leaders to benefit the brothers and sisters. Assalamu alaikum.